Hey everyone, it's Sam Kimmel here with Tip of the Day, and I was going to do a little uh, tip today about wet sanding. Um, sometimes you have a project that you have to wet sand. I was going to go through a little bit of why we do it and uh, a little bit of process on how I do it. Um, so today we're working on this, uh, it's an older Ranger bass boat, and uh, it had a pretty bad finish. It was faded, um, and so we're sanding the clear coat off, and then we're going to polish it. Um, and here's a couple things that I like to do. Obviously, just sandpaper. It's a wet and dry sandpaper. You can pick this up in an auto parts store. A lot of hardware stores carry it too. I like 3M, um, but there's a lot of good brands out there. Uh, so this water bottle is a modified water bottle. As you can see, I put a little hole in the end, and it allows me to have water on hand. Some people like to use a little bucket with a rag. I like to use the water bottle. It's always fresh, clean water. Um, and so here's how we start. I like to get the uh, surface wet, wash off anything that you know might be in the way, as well as the sandpaper. Make sure there's nothing stuck on it. You want this to be clean and you want to spray water on it as you're sanding it. And what that's going to do is wash away all of the things you're sanding off. And it'll create a nicer uh, surface without so many scratches and imperfections. Another thing that I like to do when I'm wet sanding is on my final, you know, uh, paper so you know we might start off with 400 or 600 and work our way up to you know possibly up to 2,000 grit and what I like to do on that last couple of layers of sandpaper you know maybe my 1500 and my 2000 is go the exact same direction so always going in the same direction keeping it wet the whole time with the spray bottle and that will it'll essentially put the scratches all in the same direction now the really fine scratches they will polish out with your buffing wheel, but you want them all in the same direction. That'll make it much easier to polish out and you'll get a better looking product in the end. So little tip, put a little hole in the end of your, your bottle here. You keep refilling this all day. I put a little, uh, like a drop of Dawn dish soap in there and just give it a shake. You don't have to have very much, but that creates a little bit of lubricant for your sandpaper and come through and sand all in the same direction until you're done. Get this a nice flat surface uh, you can even use a block. We like to use the little Dura blocks, the little rubber block. Um, get that nice and flat, and then once that's done, come back through, wipe all of the excess, all this dried powder and everything off, and then you can go to polishing. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave any comments in the uh, comments section there, and I'll try to get back with you if you have any questions or anything like that. Um, and also don't forget to subscribe. We're going to be releasing videos all the time, all kinds of tips and tricks for pretty much anything you can imagine. So don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time. Thanks.